Apple just released a new ultra wide display for a Mac, but you're gonna need a Vision Pro to use it. But before I show it off, if you wanna keep up to date with all the latest Apple news, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. So this new display is actually a long awaited feature for Vision Pro. And after using it for the past day, I can tell you now that it is a killer feature. The Vision OS 2 update came out in September, and it was a massive update for Apple's first spatial computer. In particular, the new tapping gesture to open the home screen is just chef's kiss. It's so intuitive and easy, and I love flipping my hand over to open the control center with my battery status and all that other information, plus the little slide to do the volume. There's been a lot of other stuff too, including new environments and system-wide improvements. The biggest feature that I wanted to see though was improved Mac mirroring, and that will arrive in Vision OS 2.2. We got the first beta of Vision OS 2.2 with a likely release in early December. Here's what you need to know and how it works. To get started, you of course need to have an Apple Vision Pro running Vision OS 2.2. Again, that is currently in developer beta, but will eventually, maybe by the time you see this, be released to everyone. You also need a Mac running macOS Sequoia 15.2. Yes, also currently in beta. With that, you just put your Vision Pro on. Real quick, while I've got you here, I wanna thank our sponsor for this video, Vision Flow, and its new Talkit app that has just recently launched on Apple Vision Pro. The app has these incredibly cool 3D cities that you can drop into as you progress your way through the challenges laid out in the app. I love watching the cars like drive down the road. But while cool, that's not the point of the app. It puts you into real world situations where you can practice your conversations and learning English. It could be inquiring about a new job and it coaches you about what questions you should ask as you converse with an AI powered avatar. You're immersed into a digital world rather than clicking boxes on a screen. You speak in natural language and Talkit will respond to you and each response is graded based on how well you did. After you complete each lesson, you get an overall score and can move on to the next one. So far, there are three scenarios in the app with more sure to be added. They can help preparing for travel, practicing for interviews, and even simulating medical emergencies. I love seeing new ways to use these new technologies that are being used for good, such as improving learning and comprehension. If you've got a Vision Pro, I encourage you to check it out. There's a link for it in the description. Just as before, you simply have to look at your Mac's display where an anchor button will hover just above. Look at it and tap it to connect. Once it mirrors your display, there is a new dropdown at the top. You can choose between the standard view, wide, and ultra wide. You'll notice as the display gets larger, it gets this curve to it. It wraps around you in a way that's very comfortable to use. Sitting close to the ultra wide, you do have to rotate your head, but this has easily become my new favorite way to work. Apple says this is the equivalent of dual 4K displays. Your typical 4K resolution is 3840 by 2160. Checking system settings, Vision Pro's ultra wide was 5120 by 1440, which is typical for a physical ultra wide display. I'm a big fan of this Samsung Odyssey G9 curved ultra wide display. It's beautiful, uh, but in it too is 5120 by 1440. And that one's gonna run you about a grand. What's amazing here is that if you have a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, you could get rid of a display on your desk, clearing off space. You can just sit down and jump into this massive resizable display or continue working from anywhere. I just went outside to enjoy this fall 80, 80 degree day while editing videos, all in Vision Pro. I finally feel like I have enough space to be fully productive with Vision Pro. I also love the new environments. I mean, just editing videos while you feel like you're sitting on a beach. How can you, how can you hate that? This update also made these screens crisper too. There's more detail. Text is more legible. It's just more comfortable to use. And if you're watching any content, like one of these YouTube videos, the audio also now routes through Vision Pro instead of through your Mac. So you can hear it easier. It's more clear. 
The biggest limitation is that you can't have multiple Mac displays, like two separate monitors. This can lead to a little reorganization in your windows to properly make use of it. Like I usually use like the full screen spaces, but with the ultra wide, that doesn't work as well. Mac OS does have a new snapping ability, which is like, you can just put them into like each corner and split it that way. That works pretty well too. I'm beyond excited for this. This is the first beta and it's incredibly smooth. I can't stop using it. This is just another way that, that Vision Pro is crushing it. I know there's still debate on if this is a success, not a success, whatever you wanna call it. And I wanna hear your opinions on that down below, but there's no arguing. This is simply the best way I found to use my Mac. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. You can also let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, be sure you're subscribed and I'll catch you in the next video.